a brand new box. I'm terrible at opening these. Are you filming me do this? Let's watch this lady who can't open a box of bacon soda. Showcasing our state's culinary talent has always been a part of the Ohio State Fair. And honoring the best home-baked bread has been a tradition since the very first fair in 1850. Now, although this year's fair has been canceled due to the coronavirus pandemic, we can still have a little taste of it from home. So today, I'm gonna make a quick bread that won the blue ribbon at the 2019 Ohio State Fair. This is a zucchini cheddar bread by Terry McCarty of Hamilton, Ohio. Terry, tell us about your interest in the Ohio State Fair. How long have you been competing? Well, we've been, I've been attending the State Fair every year for about, for 30 years, for sure. And probably competing from off and on for the last 25. So tell me about this zucchini cheddar bread. How, did you know you had a blue ribbon winner when you entered the contest? No, no, this is, this is what, this is the thing about it. I spent that entire weekend, literally, I made this really fancy, pecan pear bread. I made this blue cornmeal cornbread. I made pumpkin bread and oh and that was a it was a sweet zucchini bread with these like special homemade candied nuts in it. Mm. I spent you know the entire weekend and so it's Sunday morning about 10 o'clock and we're planning on leaving around two o'clock to go to bring everything up to the fair and I thought you know what I think I have everything left. I'm just gonna whip together this zucchini bread. <laughs> And of course, that's the one that won. To me, this bread is as much about the garden as it is the kitchen. And it's a good way to use up a lot of zucchini. Okay, you're gonna start off by prepping your veggies. You're gonna shred one cup of zucchini, and that's gonna be about half of a large zucchini. And you're also gonna shred three quarters of a cup of cheddar cheese. It helps to use a box grater like this, especially this one, because it's gonna catch all that zucchini goodness. But, I mean, if you don't have something like this, you could probably use a vegetable peeler or just chop it up really small, but a grater is gonna be your best bet. Graters are great. Then we'll chop up about a quarter of a cup of scallions. So you just wanna to get to chopping those. And we'll also need about three tablespoons of fresh parsley, which fun fact, was grown by our producer Jackie Schaefer in her garden. And you'll also need one tablespoon of dill. Now that we've got the veggies prepped and the cheese shredded, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our dry ingredients. In a large mixing bowl, you'll wanna add three cups of all-purpose flour, four teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of baking soda. Do you know from your experience entering in the fair, how do the judges sort of judge the recipe? Is it presentation, appearance, flavor, all of those things? I think what maybe appealed, hopefully, this is my guess, is that this was just something really, it was different, not, it was a savory fruit loaf, or a savory vegetable loaf where most of them are sweet. Um, and it was also just pretty simple. Um, and that's maybe, that's what I have to assume is why uh, you know, I think they like really basic things done very well. Maybe if you get too fancy, that is um, maybe not what they're looking for. Now that our dry ingredients are all whisked together, we're gonna add all of our vegetables, our herbs, and our cheese into the dry ingredients and mix it together and just so that it gets evenly coated in that dry flour mixture. So I'm just gonna toss this together so that the flour coats everything. So once you've got this all tossed together and all of the little pieces are evenly coated in the dry mixture, we can set this aside and we'll put together our wet ingredients. So I've cracked two eggs into another mixing bowl and to that I'm gonna add one cup of buttermilk. Get all that in there. And four tablespoons of melted butter. Can't go wrong, melted butter. So once we've mixed this all up, we're gonna add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and then just mix this until everything starts to come together. You don't wanna over mix it and the batter's gonna look lumpy and that's okay. And we're good. It's a really thick batter. All right, our batter is ready to go. I have greased a nine by five loaf pan. So this is the, the best pan to use for this. You can use metal or glass. We're using glass in this case. And I've greased it all over so that the uh, bread will come out easily. And now I'm just gonna add our thick batter to the pan. And then for a bread like this, I just like to kind of smooth it around so it fills out the pan and you get kind of a smooth top. Then we're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about an hour. All right. Oh my goodness. Look at the zucchini cheddar bread. Oh, stop it. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
Well, here, I have a surfing suggestion. Oh, do tell. One thing I like to do is make it, can you see, is make it in a small little loaf. So, you know, the mini loaves, there we go. And then I slice it. And then, you know, everybody knows the little cucumber sandwiches that you make on um, uh, like the deli rye bread, the little uh, cocktail rye bread that you get at the grocery. Instead of the cocktail rye bread, I use the, I use the sliced bread and then with uh, cream cheese, a slice of fresh cucumber, which if you slice the cucumber on the diagonal, it'll be bigger so it fits the uh, bread a little bit better. And then a little bit more fresh dill on the top and you have a great little cucumber sandwich. And again, at the right time of year, you can get your parsley, scallions, dill, zucchini, and cucumber right out of your yard. Well, thank you so much, Terry, for chatting with me. I, I really enjoyed learning more about your bread and your recipes, and I can't wait to try your pickles, too. All right, thank you. And everybody go to the fair next year. Go to the fair, 2021. We're already waiting, we're already planning for what our next competitions will be. Look how beautifully the zucchini cheddar bread turned out. I can't get over it. It's gorgeous. It's golden brown. You can see everything inside. You can see the zucchini and the parsley and the scallions and the dill and the cheddar, these little pockets of cheddar. I can't handle it. I have to eat it. I'm gonna taste it. It's still warm. Oh, wow. There's no wonder why this won a blue ribbon. It's amazing. You gotta give it a try.